Baseball. Happy Saturday morning to you. Here's the news and results from Friday. Looking first at the NL Central, the Pirates second baseman, number 44, had a great day driving in five on three hits as the Buccos took down the Reds seven to four. The Cubs went deep four times as they took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee seven to five. The win was their sixth in a row. The Atlanta Braves put up 16 hits on the day as they took care of the Rocks in Colorado seven to five. A.J. Pollock was a major force at the plate with six RBIs as the Dodgers defeated the rival Giants 18-6. The New York Yankees took down the visiting Orioles 4-2. The Cleveland Indians grabbed the win against the visiting Royals 5-4. The Angels knocked out 10 hits as a team as they grabbed the win against the visiting Athletics 6-3. The Toronto Blue Jays grabbed the win over the Rangers in Arlington 3-0. The Padres right fielder, number 32, drove home three runs as the Padres took care of Houston 7-5. As always, thanks for tuning in. That's all we've got this morning. Enjoy the games later today, and we'll see you tomorrow.
are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight it's game three of this four game set between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Trevor Williams is the man on the mound for the Pirates in this contest. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. Striding in, Jose Peraza. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the night taken for ball one as we're underway in Pittsburgh. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty B. We're looking at a team right now. They're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand. They split it two and two, Dero, and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah, and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans. They need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five at his homestand. The 1-1. One, one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco has a read on it. One out. And a moment now to glance at the Reds lineup card in this one. Mark DeRosa tell us a little bit more about this lineup. Matty you focus on this lineup. The middle of the order jumps out at you because of the big power. But my focus today is on the table setters. The guys that set the tone. They have to be willing to work the count and find ways to get on base and create a little bit of havoc on the defense. Here's the second baseman Scooter Jeanette his previous history with Trevor Williams the pitcher zoned him he's a paltry one for 11. He's ready here's the first offering. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Dickerson will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. First baseman number 19 Joey Vada. So bases are empty here with two gone and standing in is the on base machine first baseman Joey Votto. First delivery to him on the way and that one just missed outside. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Popped him up. Moran on the move. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Reds are down in order and now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. Tanner Roar gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Hey, his last one was good. I'm sure he'd like to pitch a little bit better. Was able to get into the seventh inning. Got a no decision in his last one. He needs to get off to a good start here to try to get him and the team in the win column. Here's Starling Marte. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch of the at bat. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. And guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the heart of the plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off him. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. So 
two quick strikes and now the 0 2. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Here comes another 0 2. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The one two. Swing and a liner. Foul. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Even count two balls and two strikes. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Into the corner and slicing foul. The next three two. Down into left center for a base hit. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. Now he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. There to take it is Votto, and there's one gone. And here's how Clint Hurdle set his Pirates lineup for this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I'm going to be playing close attention to Starling Marte. Looking at the stats, he's hitting over 400 versus right-handed pitching this season. He's obviously facing a right-hander on the mound today, so, guys, he could have a real impact on this game. So digging in now, Corey Dickerson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the belt, the pitch. Marte off for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Good steal of second there. And that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Two and zero now. Now the two zero finds the zone. Strike one. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. Just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Marte leads off second with one gun in the inning. Two two one more time. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Pro gets him two down. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, meat.
Josh Bell the next to hit. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Men on third with two down. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Reyes is after it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for Pittsburgh. Still no score. And now is Yasiel Puig. His previous history with Trevor Williams. He's a 333 hitter. First pitch of the at bat. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Looking up is Marte. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run off the bat of Yasiel Puig. Home run number three here in the early going. As the Reds strike first, it's one to nothing. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. So here's Matt Kemp now. Line drive to left. Around first, he's digging for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. There's a deep fly ball. Doesn't quite get out of the ballpark, but it hits in the right spot as it bounces off that hard warning track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Not sure if he had triple on his mind, but I doubt he'll complain too much about getting to coast into second base. Standing in now, Eugenio Suarez. Nope. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hey. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Dan Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Bell is over and he puts it away for the first down. Time for a look at the Buncos on D. And let's take a look at outfielder Gregory Polanco can play all spots in the outfield from center to both corners with a cannon arm and the ability to go in the gap. Now batting Tucker Barnhart his previous history with Trevor Williams decent numbers he's six for 15 on top of that he has seven RBIs. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a flare out to left center. Here comes Dickerson. He can't get there as it falls in. And he will check in with his first extra base hit of the year. It's a double. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Standing in, Jose Reyes, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. No, and a fastball. Mm, just misses. It's one and one.
popped him up. Number 44 moving to his left makes the play and there are two gone now. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. So here's the Reds pitcher Tanner Roar. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. First pitch on its way. A fastball that just misses inside. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Softly hit here to the left side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You're facing the opposing pitcher, and you give up a two-out RBI. I got to believe he's contemplating retirement. A two-out knock given up to the opposing pitcher. But listen, as a pitcher, you hate to give up base hits, but you doubly hate to give up base hits to the opposing pitcher. And here's Jose Peraza. He swings and grounds it to short. Backhanded. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. So frustrating, Dero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Stepping up to the plate, Scooter Jeanette. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. First delivery to him on the way. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. And now they've got the runner caught in the hot box as he thought about going home. Is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. So three runs on six hits, no errors, and two left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Reds three and the Pirates nothing. Now to the plate, Gregory Polanco, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Strike one to start the at-bat. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Time for a look at the Cincinnati Reds on D. And let's take a look at third baseman Eugenio Suarez, one of the more underrated players in our sport. Big time power from the right side. Ability to crush a hanging breaking ball. Also soft hands at the hot corner. Very reactionary down there, and a strong arm. Stepping in, Colin Moran. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Oh, and one count and the pitch. 
Missed with the breaking ball. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now, number 44. And it's fouled away. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. The wind up and the 0 1. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Two out, nobody on. Softly on a line to third, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail in this one, three nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Joey Votto. He flew out in his last at bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a strike. Missed with a slider. Drive and that's a base hit in the center field. So it's a leadoff base hit and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. Hey, there's a base hit to lead off the third inning. Talk about having a lot of traffic, D roll He's given up several hits already, so uh, he's been in the stretch most of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that, Dan. That is the name of the game for this offense. They're trying to get this guy in the stretch. Hopefully he misses over the heart of plate like he's been doing so far up until this point. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. Votto on at first. Nobody out. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Wasted pitch there, one and two. 0 oh, 2 pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. The 1 2 fouled away. Next one two pitch. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. You know guys these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make it bring up something straight to strike zone. 
line toward right center. In there, a base hit. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Up next for Cincinnati, left fielder, Matt Kemp. Digging in now, Matt Kemp. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. He's set. Here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Now the relay home. A tag, and he's out at the play to double play. At the plate, Eugenio Suarez. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 nothing advantage now. He took that back right where it came from. Nice uh -huh. ribby knock right up the shoot. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. But that ball was hit just out of his reach. Right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Your attention, please. A defensive team for the rest. Now playing center field, number 81, Andrew Steele. In is Joey Votto now. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. First baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Frazier right there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The right fielder, number 66, Yafiel Quinn. Standing in, Yasiel Puig. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball just a bit up. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Marte is there, and he brings it in on the warning track. Now batting, left fielder, Matt Kemp. Two gone in the Cincinnati fifth, and stepping forth is the left fielder, Matt Kemp. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just... And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Reds as they hold on to a four to one lead. Lonnie Chisenhall will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Lonnie Chisenhall. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0 home. A little bouncer. Foul ball, however, strike one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Steele moves over. He's got it one away. 
Center fielder, number six, Starling Marte. Here's Starling Marte. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. That ball foul. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. In for strike two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0. Popped him up. Barraza calls for it. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Pirates. They trail it four to one. Michael Feliz will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Michael Feliz. Now in the box, Eugenio Suarez singled home a run in his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Now it looks like a right hander is up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. The 1-0 is taken strike one. The 1-1 home. Count is one and two now. toward the gap in left center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. Boy, that would look like a cinch extra base hit off the bat, but a terrific diving catch in left center field. Into the box, Tucker Barnhart. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0. Line to the right side. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Andrew Steele. At the plate, Andrew Steele, he singled his last time up. He's set and the pitch. 
toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. How about it? Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to... Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Pirates, number 35, Keone Keller. So stepping in, Tucker Barnhart. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Dickerson's there. One away. Now batting, center fielder, Andrew Steele. Riding in once again, Andrew Steele. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. First delivery to him on the way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Line drive to center field. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's his third knock of the night. Uh, talk about having a good night. Three hits and, hey, he might have another at bat or two before this one ends. Francisco Cervelli will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. And he takes ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Counts even at one and one to Cervelli. Guys, I've been really impressed with him tonight. I mean, he's carving these guys up with all of his pitches. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there. Giving this offense no chance. Here's one for Jeanette, the second baseman. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now batting. Center fielder. Carling Mark Hayes. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Starling Marte is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. One of the keys to pitching late in the games first pitch strikes and this guy's rolling along so far over 70 percent of his first pitches have been for strikes. Now the 0 1. A swing and a miss at one that almost hit him. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Ball, one. ball and two strikes now. Count. But there's one your textbook waste pitch right there, try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Eighth inning, four to one is our score.
Still a ball and two strikes. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Uh, got him on a good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Now at the plate, Adam Frazier. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Edgar Santana enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now at the plate, Joey Votto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Joey Votto. Here's the pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Line towards center field and Votto reaches. He's got a base hit. The ninth inning's underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add-on inning here in the ninth. Add-on gives some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, d -Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit, not having to come out there with just a one-run lead. Yasiel Puig will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Marte is under it. Makes the play one away. Now batting left fielder Matt Kemp. So here's Matt Kemp now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the stretch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Marte going back at the track. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. The relay throw. Well, he thought about going for third, and now that runner's in no man's land out there. And they'll get the out here as he's run down between second and third. Third baseman, number seven. Digging in to try it again. The Eugenio Suarez. Runner in scoring position. Brandon Phillips 
We'll look to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. And this is taken outside for ball one. It is career. Phillips is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Now the 1-0. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Number 44 into shallow center. And that ends the inning. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Nothing in the Cincinnati ninth. Last chance coming up for the Buckos. They trail here four to one. Brandon Phillips is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number zero, Brandon Phillips. Into the box now, Corey Dickerson. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. Corey Dickerson. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a swing, and of course, ground balls always find the new guy. This one's down to third. That's a Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Popped him up. Phillips trying to get there. But this will land untouched. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He stays alive, still two and two. And a breaking ball stays outside. Well, the one thing he definitely didn't want was a long at bat here to start off this ninth inning. This could really jeopardize whether he could complete this game or not. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Josh Bell, the next to hit. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Steele moves over, and that's the second out of the inning. All right, fielder number 25, Gregory Polanco. Here's Gregory Polanco. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Now here's the pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Up top, it's 2-0. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to Ed either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Seared down the first baseline. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Kemp has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Cincinnati took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Tanner Roar earns his first win of the season, turning in a very strong complete game effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night.
the final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Four runs, 17 hits, no errors. They left 16 men on base. For the Pirates, one run on six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 52 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at PNC Park, 38,365. The Pirates thank you for attending tonight's game and remind you to please drive home safely.